You've probably noticed that I don't post too many videos here anymore. Despite having over 4,000 subscribers, to be honest, there's something far more important going on. To date, this might be the most important video that I've ever uploaded to the YouTube channel. Why is this true? Why is that? Because time is not on our side, and despite being informed and warned about the most intractable and desperate problem facing the survival of humankind, the message is still hasn't caught on. It's still met with denial and disbelief and derision. This was expected. And for those of you still on the fence but wishing to do something positive, while still not convinced of the message coming from the work of Carl Mollison and the Gitless Mission, then this video might be for you. The Lightworker Healing Protocol will make history. It will eventually be used by thousands if not millions of people all over the world. Why would I claim such an outrageous thing? Because in order for humanity to have a future, this is exactly what's needed, and it's needed now. Please watch and listen and think carefully about the description of this high-level prayer request that was developed over years of research and testing by one of the premier channelers and healing researchers alive on the planet today, Carl Mollison. Welcome everyone, this is Denny and Carl with Get Wisdom, and today we're going to have a discussion about the Lightworker Healing Protocol. What is the Lightworker Healing Protocol and what sets it apart from other healing modalities? So Carl's compi compiled a list of, of features um, that, that we'd like to uh, share with you today. So let's go ahead and get started. Thanks, Carl. Thank you, Danny. Thanks to all of you taking an interest in this. It's a subject near and dear to my heart. It's my reason for being at the moment and has been for some years now to continue, continue to learn and cobble together additional bells and whistles and some really profound extensions of capability for this protocol designed to heal. And that's a tall order. It's not easy, and it can take a long period of time. It can take more than a lifetime to recover from what's going on in your, your life now with what you struggle with. And people don't like to hear that. Everybody wants a quick fix and an instant answer and all that. But it isn't in the cards. And sometimes you get a miracle. Sometimes nothing seems to happen, even though there's tons of things going on behind the scenes. We talked about some of those uh, ins and outs and explaining why this is so in our webinar last week. But it occurred to me, you know, we haven't really done justice describing what the protocol is all about. You know, yeah. we even have followers who hear us talk about it, you know, again and again. But if they're not practitioners, they're not privy to all the nuances and the details of what is actually the nuts and bolts of this thing. Yeah. So this so will we be thought, this will be helpful for, for people new to the Lightworker Healing Protocol who've just heard the, the term Lightworker Healing Protocol, and then they're going, okay, now what? What is this? Yes. yes. Because if you mention some aspect, people will think, oh, yeah, I know how to do that, and oh, that's in what I do with whatever modality I'm using. And, and it's not likely to be the case at all. This is unique, and it has some things done by other workers. But it's comprehensive, and that is the key to uh, its power. So let me go through this list of things. And uh, these, again, are ideas and categories, not necessarily all the details. Many of them have subparts, subcomponents with some technical jargon and so on. So if you don't hear your favorite buzzword, uh, you can be pretty sure it's in here somewhere under one of these categories. All right, so first thing is the LHP, the Lightworker Healing Protocol, is done remotely and can be applied to any client, anywhere, anytime, without conscious awareness or consent, as that is arranged by creator with the higher self. So there's a convenience factor. You know, your client doesn't have to come to you. You don't have to arrange a time uh, to talk to them uh, by phone or on the internet. And more than that, it allows us to 
do a healing outreach for people who are really struggling, but maybe not in a state of mind to cooperate. And there's a lot of situations where this happens when people have mental illness or they're just maybe old and cranky or there is some bad blood with family members and they're not speaking and all sorts of things or, or children who, who, you know, have no wherewithal to understand or intelligently weigh in uh, about this. And this is a point of contention with a lot of healers, but keep in mind, the practitioner is not changing you or your energy in any way. They're not going in and rearranging things arbitrarily just because they think it's good for you. They're appealing to the divine realm. It's the divine realm that does the healing. And this ability to go to the higher self of the client and get permission is always honored, always honored. And that's because we have sovereignty and we're free agents here. It's part of the free will uh, paradigm and what's set up. So you're free to reach out and work on someone you just hear about, maybe someone in the news. And we do this kind of stuff all the time because people aren't in a position to know what can be done and how to go about it. So this is a blessing. And we're working on all the people around the world, and, but it's incremental, and we need many more practitioners and so on. So you can join and, and contribute, and who you target will get some priority. So it matters if you have someone in your camp you know, who does this and thinks about you and wants you to be helped. All right. So I was saying before that the LHP is comprehensive. And that specificity of its requests to the divine empower the reach of the individual far beyond what is accomplished through ordinary prayer work, for example. So someone who's, you know, in the hospital or they've been given a, maybe a fatal prognosis will reach out in desperation to the Almighty, you know, if they're at all a believer. But that's actually a weak kind of prayer. It has strong emotion in it. But there's no understanding or awareness of what has gone wrong and what they might need. It's just help, 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 you know. And that doesn't give the divine realm much to work with. They know you're in pain. That's not the question. The question is, what have you learned about life? How is your standing with the divine realm? Are you really a believer fully, 100%? And to the extent you're not, that will limit what the divine realm can do for you. I mean, this sounds harsh, but it's part of the deal. You know, that's the exchange. You know, you have free agency, free will, but you're in charge. You're responsible, not us. Right. We're going to stand back and watch, see how you do. And if you want our help, we'll step in. But you have to request it. You have to believe in us and believe in yourself also. So there's there's issues there. And you also have and, to have some some notion of what could be causing the problem. Yes, yes. And that's yeah. a big part of the learning curve we're on as human beings here, yeah. to figure those things out. And if we don't know, we cannot be given a full treatment in effect. So that ability to understand is, is crucial. And it's one of the advantages of getting an LHP practitioner working on your behalf because they know much more than you do about all of the metaphysical aspects and the karmic aspects that go into maladies in the physical body and in emotional life and all the situations that come about through the slings and arrows flying around. And they can do a, a, a superb job in filling in the gap that you might bring to the party with maybe not quite 100% belief or maybe a lot less than 100 and maybe not so much faith in yourself and feelings of self-worth and so on. So an advocate working on your behalf adds their belief quotient to yours. That's the way this works. So you're getting some powerful additional help. Plus, we do a lot of things to add leverage to this process. You'll only hear a few of them singled out here. But we, we have a request as part of the protocol to pool all of the intentions of all the practitioners to be added to every session any one of us does. So we're getting a compounding of intention and spiritual standing, if you will. 
And this is how humanity can change its destiny, by coming together. This has been taught through the ages, you know, when two or more are present in my name, this is when the miracles will happen, whatever. Yeah. It's in the scriptures, but this is a premier application now, because it's, this is something that can change our destiny big time. We need more people doing it, but your prayers will help. But using the protocol brings additional power because it's got all of the components needed to right the wrongs. All right, let's keep going. The LHP is applied again and again in perpetuity, including future reincarnations, to not only speed healing of existing problems, but act as a powerful preventive intervention to forestall many adverse karmic consequences in the making. It's much easier to heal something before it blossoms into a full-blown dilemma, like a chronic illness. Once that's diagnosed, it sort of gets carved in stone. There's already a lot in play, and it's harder to beat that back than it would have been to prevent it from swelling up and becoming uh, central in your life and then showing up with symptoms and dragging you down. Lots of things are repaired by this protocol. The person has no idea are going on, things that are rumbling down below. But we've been told that fully 30% of the clients worked on with this protocol will have an extension to their life of a minimum of one year. And it can be decades because sometimes it'll keep them from dying young. It had something off that was about to take place. It might be a karmic destiny to have a fatal accident. You know, and certainly a fatal illness, that sort of thing is very common in our, uh, in our world. <clears throat> so, the idea of this in perpetuity keeps it going and it gets you in the program. It's sort of like having uh, universal health care uh, from the divine realm in a more profound way than even people it conceives. You know, that you know, they think once you're gone, you're gone. Well, you'll likely come back. Then what? You got to start over. You got to look into finding somebody who knows about the LHP. You know, so this is this is built in. All right. The LHP effectively rescues earthbound spirits to return them safely to the light. One out of three people don't make it back. They get stuck as an earthbound spirit for a time. It's lack of belief. It is emotional turmoil, maybe at the end stage of their life, dying unexpectedly. A lot of people who are dead don't know that they're dead. Suddenly the lights go out. You don't know where you are, what's happening. You don't have your normal senses. You're lost in the dark. And you may not be able to think your way through this problem and understand what is happening. We haven't been taught and trained about this. So this is a major problem. And it, it is not a thing that you want to have happen to you or anyone you care about and or really anyone in the human community. So we're working avidly on this. But we have a lot of people who come asking us to check on relatives and be sure that they've made their full transition. All right. And the LHP is an insurance policy to ensure safe return to the light in between physical incarnations to avoid becoming trapped in the lower astral plane as an earthbound spirit, because it's built in to assist the person in this life, see them through their transition successfully, pick up again when they come back in a future incarnation if they choose, see them through that to their time of transition and be sure they get back to the light then. And, you know, in perpetuity means exactly what it says. So this is quite a blessing, quite a perk to have. All right. The LHP provides healing for non-human interlopers, including dark spirits and extraterrestrials, to save humanity from their corruption and worsening attacks. We have a huge, huge problem because so many people are corrupted by dark spirits. This is the, po the problem described in the scriptures across the board, in the Quran, in the Bible. 
the fallen, the fallen angelics, and there are extraterrestrial earthbound spirits and physical ETs who are here now interacting with us and working behind the scenes to control things and worsen human culture and worsen the prospects for us. And we've been told the answer is not to confront them, go to war with them, or bring in anyone else, even other ETs, to go to war with them on our behalf. It is to bring healing, divine healing, to raise them up. That is the only thing that will work. The LHP does this routinely. And by the way, part of the protocol, one of the first steps is to request that all work on the, of, done by the protocol be applied to the self. Why not? You're a people too. <laughs> You're deserving. You're actually working for the light. So you should be in on this and get a benefit. So this is a great way to work on raising yourself up. And you can include your family at the same time as well. So that's just an extra blessing. But it points to the fact we're all part of a family. Right. And even our opposition are divine creations. And they are deserving of another chance or maybe a final chance to pull themselves out of their depravity. Humans can get in that state of being also. We know this all too well. But they're children of God. And at one time, they were somebody's little baby and they were innocent. And that can be returned to, again, with healing to raise them up so they're just as lofty in a position as you or I want to be in our full enlightenment. So we've been told this, that healing the perpetrators is the first order of business, even out of us. But that's built into the LHP. So it's no small thing. It's not some side issue that's really esoteric. It's central. All right. The LHP employs the spirit team to ground the client, physically ground them to Gaia, to the earth. Open and balance the chakra system. These are the energetic centers. There are seven major chakras. There are other minor chakras. And these are very important to govern energy flow coming into the person. The life flow force. Okay? This isn't, you know, it's a subtle energy but it's the difference between being alive and being dead. <laughs> so, so it's not unimportant. Okay. And also in the process to do a restoration of the genetic complement. So many people are dabbling with this and requesting uh, and attempting to heal the DNA strands that are missing and so forth. And we've been told that's a divine level problem. And if you're not asking divine help, you're not going to get anything done. It's just the way it is. And so, all right. So the LHP removes all types of attachments of consciousness, human earthbound spirits, because a lot of these that don't make it to the light wind up attached to a living person because they're drawn to the energy. But they're, they're stuck. They don't know where they are and, and it hurts their host. All right. So that includes them. It includes removing fallen angelic spirits. These are the demons described in the Bible, the demonic spirits, the satanic level of negativity. It includes extraterrestrial earthbound spirits because that same fate befalls them. And in fact, in higher percentages than for human beings, because they are in a very, very sad state of affairs with a complete disconnection from the divine. They are non-believers, they're atheists. So this is a cautionary tale. It also removes the consciousness from extragalactic and interdimensional intruders. So we're getting more into esoteric things, but there's other forms of consciousness from a multi-dimensional universe, and then it's a wide universe with trillions of life forms out there. And some of them can find their way here through non-local consciousness. And they may want to hang around and see what they can learn about. And, and it can confuse the body to have something like this 
present, and yeah. it's a violation of sovereignty also. And, and even though it occurs in, in lower percentages, it's still a problem, and it's still, you know, it's an indicator that the LHP is, you know, all-inclusive. I mean, just right. about everything that we know about, even if it's a considerably minor thing in terms of percentages, it's still dealt with in the LHP. Right, because for some people, it's central to their issues. Yeah. And I've had clients with these problems, and it can cause huge physical problems in the body. Medicine isn't going to do a thing for someone who has an interdimensional intruder <clears throat> trying to manipulate them to see what will happen or take their energy to live from. You know, this, it's like having a tapeworm, but it doesn't just sit in the gut. It goes anywhere it wants to in your body, maybe your brain. You know, not a good thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. The LHP removes alien implants and all personal spirit and extraterrestrial portals that keep people vulnerable to spirit possession and manipulation by extraterrestrials. So this is getting in, into some esoterica, but very few people even know that we can have personal portals put there by spirits, put there by extraterrestrial spirits. And this is a huge defect in people removing spirits from uh, their clients coming to them who think they've got some issue like this will typically not be doing that. And to leave those portals in place means spirits are going to march right back in. It's impossible to keep people protected when they have a portal there. It, it's just the way it is. It's like a, a gateway. It's like a door. Right. You know, if you had a house with a bolted door, that's one thing. But if you have a house with no door, there's just an opening. Right. You know, guess what's going to happen? You know, animals can wander in at night, you know. So, <clears throat> all right. So the LHP clears locations of spirits, spirit portals negative energies of all kinds, and heals soul wounds. The land itself has a soul. Gaia has a huge soul because it's huge. And there are subcomponents, just like with people and the animals and, and other living things. So they have healing needs, the, the locations. And people see this fairly often. There's something weird going on. There's something creepy in my home or what have you. And it's likely spirit traffic. And sometimes it's a malevolent spirit. Not a good thing. All right. So the LHP repairs deep karmic wounds, which are the source of 94% of physical illnesses. So this is a big gap in mainstream awareness that they don't appreciate this aspect because it's it's. The key to, he, to helping people with physical health issues, illness is karmic. It's because you've had traumas in the past and often in other lifetimes. There's a higher percentage of karmic causes from other lives than the current life, in fact. You know, medicine knows about the, the hazards when you have childhood adverse events, you know, physical abuse, emotional abuse, or neglect, and these sorts of things. And they all add up and create adverse health consequences decades later. But more than that are the karmic wounds of other lifetimes, because we've had hundreds of other lives, and most of them we got very little healing done. And when you don't heal something, it doesn't heal. It won't heal on its own. It's kept there as something for you to take care of, courtesy of the law of karma. We don't escape anything. You know? right. We overlook, we, we stuff things down out of sight and try and soldier on, but eventually it comes back around. This is what karma does, the wheel of karma. And it, it often drags people down later in life because it's a cumulative thing. And the more they're beaten up in the current life, the more it opens the old wounds and they come in and pile on. So this is a compounding effect. So this is deep healing that's the key to really restoring your life to, to get it on an even keel. And also, again, preventive intervention. Let's nip it in the bud. 
let's get it while it's just buzzing a little, but you know, before you've got diabetes or heart disease or cancer. All right. The LHP provides similar healing benefits to animal clients who may have spirit attachments, energetic discord, and deep karmic wounds like people do. Everything that can befall a human can be done to an animal, and often is. In fact, animals have more spirit attachments than people because they come down to be healers. And they'll attract the spirits from their owners to take that on and help to heal their owner. They'll take on their owner's karma in an attempt to heal them. So this is why it's good to get a pet, you know, and you've got a problem. You know, this is an intuitive awareness, yeah. but it, it, it's based in reality. But they, they pay a price oftentimes, and, and they, they do it in a way that feels right to them, and it might not be the best way. They often take on the injury and the hurt and it, it rather than bring in healing for it, which they could do. So that's a complicated discussion. But but anyway, our animal friends need our help also. Right. And this can be included. So I often work on a family group and we'll include family pets in it because they're helping everyone else. And if they're not in alignment, that's an indication other things are off kilter. And and everyone affects everyone else in a family group. Yeah. So it can be very powerful to, to be able to work on a group because there's often a lot of karmic business. People come in again and again with the same people in families to work on the injuries of the past and try to make it better. All right. The LHP can repair and remove the causes and symptoms of severe mental illness. So this is just one example. This is true of other illnesses as well. But this is such a huge problem and a growing one. I, you know, I've just singled it out here. And one of the reasons is most of the severe mental illness is caused by spirit possession. Once it destroys the mind and balanced thinking, then it becomes a much more severe health issue. But it's another thing that's easier to prevent than heal. And this protocol will do that. All right. We're going to talk about an example in our webinar today. The LHP brings healing for all life forms in the earth plane. So we're not confining this just to ourselves or even our companion animals. And then these pesky uh, intruders, the dark spirits and the ETs who are running around. We want all organisms to benefit to the extent divine healing will help them and help raise them up. And there are many examples of this. You know, we could go on and on on this, this subject, but we've got beneficial microbes that keep things in balance. You know, this is what the whole ideas of, uh, you know, uh, supplements where you, you know, take capsules with good bacteria and this sort of thing. And, yeah. But, but there, there are many things throughout nature that get askew and can use divine help to get them back in balance, you know, with predators and, and, and various scourges in the environment. All right. So the LHP brings healing for all of Gaia. So that includes everything about the earth. You know, even things like earth changes and potential upheavals and so on. And also the sun and the solar system. Because human life depends on the entirety of what is going on in our little local environment. And that includes the sun very much so. We can't live without the sun. <laughs> you know, we worry about global warming, but, you know, we need warming and we need the sun's energy. We need the electromagnetic grid around the earth. Things are in a state of perturbation. And we work on it. So we're supplementing all the divine work going on to help keep things in balance. And again, it's being smart about our world and identifying something we need that's a divine level problem. We can't go and fix the sun. We, don't, we wouldn't know how to even to go about it. But the awareness, there's a problem, which we're aware of because we've asked. 
is the reason this is in the protocol. Right. So it's, a, it's an example of what can be done through gaining wisdom. All right. The LHP corrects and removes subconscious programming from many sources of consciousness. This is big. It goes on all the time. We're being programmed by our media. Everything. Anytime you hear something recorded, look at a screen, you're getting subliminal programming, and it's designed to drag us down. This can be repaired, and it, another, it's another ongoing maintenance issue. And that's another virtue of this, you know, to stay up with <laughs> the bombardment of right. the bad things that happen. We all get beat up by people around us, you know, people at work, maybe our own family members. There's issues for some and, and uh, you know, and the hazards of life and the disappointments and the social turmoil and what's going on in the culture that affects us directly, like, a, a, you know, raising of taxes or a, national disaster, a natural disaster, and all, on and on. These are all opportunities to bring in divine healing and help. People often pray when something bad like this happens, but then they stop. So it's kind of coming in after the fact. <laughs> right. Let's pray in advance for order, balance, yeah. and protection. well-being and protection. Yes, yeah. absolutely. All right. The LHP can remove and repair harmful cellular memory that perpetuates human problems. This is a very deep level of kind of self-programming that happens, and sometimes at the behest of other consciousness, that grooves in negative beliefs about things and a kind of a tape loop of turmoil inside the being, inside the mind. And... This is a major problem with a lot of situations where people just can't change their thinking, can't change their ways, can't get out of a self-destructive pattern that just seems to happen over and over and over again. A lot of that is driven by cellular memory. There's nothing else that will touch that except the LHP. The LHP heals and protects against many sources of negative environmental influences in air, food, and water. And there's lots and lots of these, more than mainstream science is aware of. The LHP protects against many harmful technological devices and energies undermining human health, both from human and extraterrestrial sources. So again, you know, we've done webinars more than we've done multiple webinars just about this, yeah. you know, about all these things, because right. it's huge. Every technology we have has a negative consequence, and it's designed to be that way. Yep. In fact, more than one negative consequence, right. typically. So these energies are destructive to us, all of our electrical grid and our wiring in the house and... And, and this, the and this goes back to what we were talking about earlier is that, you know, if you're not aware of these things, you know, it, it's just it's it's critical to when you start talking about healing, you have to know what's wrong. If you're going to do That's effective right. healing, you have to go to the causal agents and deal with those, not symptomatic stuff. So that's why we're talking about thing, you know, the environmental hazards, you know, which which have uh, multiplied hugely in the last 70, 100 years, 50 years, those things are just burgeoning now, just, just in the electromagnetic sphere. You know, if you go back to the early 1900s, you know, when radio was just coming on, you know, and electricity was just coming on, well, those in certain forms are detrimental to life. But now you compare that to what, we are, what we're bathing in now, it's, it's, it's amazing. And we need to know about those things. We need to know about right. the negative effects in right. order to heal them. It's a worsening. Yeah. It's really a worsening that's taking place. That's not good. Whenever you have a trend, you know, this, this is the time to act. So, right. all right. So the LHP removes harmful energies from food, makes up for what is lacking, and removes what is present in excess to provide a healthy nutritional balance. And 
brings healing for prior consequences of imbalance. So this is designed to be a complete nutritional support as an adjunct, as a backstop, a safety net, however you want to look at it. And it can be abused. It can be overridden by recklessness and carelessness. When you know something's not good for you and you indulge, you could have a karmic consequence from that. They're not going to make your life perfect just because you want it. But if there's things you're ignorant about, and this includes all of us, because most of what we know is wrong, and we've been misguided again and again and again, all through human history, by our own institutions, our own science. It's being controlled and manipulated. So this is why you see these paradigms getting overturned regularly, because eventually we figure something out, and then, oh gosh, we got to stop doing what we're doing and right. do the thing we were told not to do, right. <laughs> you know? Right. And, and it's not just humans are stupid and slow. This is engineered. So this, we're going through a paradigm right now with diet. Yeah. We were told for 40, 50 years, fat is your enemy. It'll kill <laughs> you and keep your cholesterol down and all of these things. Right. And people still believe it. Yeah. You know, don't take salt. And, and, and they're taking one little thing that implies in one narrow situation and extrapolating to everyone. And they're getting us to, to live off practically nothing, the most meager food sources. Yeah. You know, like vegetable matter, you know, plants and things, which have very little, if any, protein. They don't have fatty acids. They're critical. They're essential to life of mammals. Right. So, you know, this, this is how it, 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 it goes. So the protocol helps to right a lot of wrongs like this. The LHP removes the consequences of and protects against ordinary and high-level psychic attacks from the self, which is big, and external sources, like ancestral and recent cursings. This is very common. There's a lot of people doing cursing, and it's part of many cultures. It's yeah. been part of all the cultures, but it kind of comes and goes and fades for a time. And But there are also professionals out there you can hire who know how to go about this in a very deadly way. And so people need protection from these things. I have many clients who come to me because they're being cursed and it's destroying their lives and hurting their families and their children. And this is a project, but it can be done. This can be countered through divine intervention. All right. The LHP removes and heals negative energetic cordings and dissolves negative karmic contracts across all time domains to heal traumatic events. And that is key because very, very few healers are thinking about other time domains. You've got some people working on past lives, but using imperfect tools to see what the person can connect to. Or maybe they'll do a psychic reading and, and see some events in uh, the most recent life and, and then work perhaps to, to do some healing most of it is information gathering, not even healing, per se, that's yeah. attempted. And any healing not done through the divine realm will be of a lesser extent and quality. It's just the way it is. We've come from the light. We think we can heal, and we can. But our energy is very, very limited compared to a divine being in full flower and full expression. We're, we're diminished down here. So... <clears throat> So these are routine things, but they're done in a very elegant and thorough way. A routine in terms of people knowing about things like cords and so forth, cutting cords and so on. And we, we don't cut them. We, we dissolve them and heal their karmic origins. And that's, that's a, more, um, a more elegant and thorough kind of karmic repair. Perhaps the most powerful and comprehensive thing is that the LHP does a comprehensive soul matrix healing across time to heal the past lives, the present incarnation, and future lifetimes, and all their future extensions by repairing the effects of all possible negative influences from the self and outside agents including environmental hazards, 
medical treatment, and extraterrestrial manipulations. We get a lot of dents and bruises and wounds from all directions in life. We do the best we can, but sometimes our choices are not the best. We're given bad advice and we take things in that may have a toxic component and we get some some effects from that. Medicine is very good at that you know, with the side effects of prescription drugs and the side effects of surgery. People don't know this, but every time your body is cut open, it creates a permanent energetic distortion. It will remain there your entire life long unless you get divine healing to restore that. Surgeons have no awareness, they have no concept of it. They'll, they'll open up your belly and cut right through major chakras. And this is part of the reason it takes so long to recover from surgery. You know, they're, they're perturbing things that shouldn't be perturbed. And that can be a, a hindrance for an entire lifetime in, you know, in subtle ways, but meaningful ways. So, we can request repair for all these things. I mean, people just have no idea. Things like blood transfusions and organ transplants create huge problems because you're bringing in through that tissue and its DNA the karma of the donors. And then your karma gets entwined with the karma of the donor. Right. It's an exchange of information we're not supposed to be doing these things is really the bottom line, we're told. Right. And, and so this is kind of making up for uh, human mistakes, basically. And then, of course, we have our, uh, our intruder friends who are doing things to hurt us and so on. So this is a very comprehensive uh, approach. And we have many things like this that are overlapping and somewhat redundant. But we do that for thoroughness because we've been told it helps. All right. The LHP applies sophisticated quantum healing to pool the intentions and healing outcomes of multiple sessions by multiple practitioners across all time domains to greatly extend the outcomes. So we can do a healing for a person today and request that the benefit of that healing including all the karmic entanglements through history and so on, be applied to healing they had done last week when they were two other lifetimes and lives in the future as well to ensure that whatever we were able to take care of now can be added in to work done elsewhere across time. This is very powerful in addition to getting a greater body of intention involved. <clears throat> the LHP provides protection across time domains to improve all that is ongoing in parallel lifetimes to reduce negative influences and their consequences. So if there's one thing we need, it's protection <laughs> because we've got a lot of bad things that can happen. So part of that is empowering the spirit team to be proactive, to deflect things, to ward them off, or step in if something gets in and remove it. Right. Which Unless goes back they're to the, requested. To, yeah, it, that's what just what I was going to say is that, you know, it's, it's there and a lot of people just think, well, because I have a guardian angel, they're doing all these things for me. No, they're doing the things that you've asked for. That's right. Beyond the life support you know, the basic life support stuff, they're only going to do what you ask them to do. Yes. Back to the free will. That's right. That's right. And so this is, this is important teaching and important wisdom to, to be aware of. All right. So the LHP invokes healing by all divine beings in the light to work alongside humans in common cause for saving and healing humanity. This is big. This is really big. And it's never been done before. You know, people will say a prayer to Archangel Michael or to Jesus or maybe to the Lord and ask for something for themselves and some assistance in that. But we have learned through relentless question and answer channeling work that it is actually possible to draw on the collective of spiritual 
capability and energy of all of the soul-based beings who are beneficial to us and in our camp, so to speak. So we can get all the people who are now up in the light, in between lives, to be coming back down as healers and doing healing sessions alongside us, as well as all of the angelics and creator as well, all of the spirits who are capable of positive work and the extraterrestrials as well, who are in the light at the moment and back in spiritual alignment. They have a stake in this too. They can come and help us heal their compatriots down in the physical. So this is big. This is a compounding of energy that goes far beyond what one person could do, launching a request. All right. The LHP works to heal the connection to the higher self, as well as the deep subconscious, to restore humans to normal functioning as intended by the creator. So that's a long discussion right there. But it's part of our dilemma that we're cut off from the higher realms. This is why people vary so in their intuitive reach. Many people have no intuitive sensing capability. This is what we're talking about, this disconnect, the suppression of that link. And so this is a, an ongoing attempt to repair that and restore it. It's something that takes time, but why not start it? The LHP works to have creator guide the deep subconscious to resolve traumas and change limiting beliefs. And that's because, again, of the disconnect. You can't reach the deepest levers, levels of the mind, no matter what you do. And even if you can, it will vary according to individual ability to do what's needed maybe a deep trance session, for example. But there are parts of the mind you can't even reach that way. And this is a discovery we've made doing this work. But the divine realm can come in and talk to that part of your mind. So there's a workaround. And this can be very powerful as well. The LHP requests the spirit team to coordinate with the client's higher self about the life plan, progress, and bring healing for obstacles. Okay, so we come down with a plan that we, we made in the light with consultation and coordinated with other souls who are coming in to maybe be a life partner or a parent, to, you know, starting out ahead of us or a sibling or someone who would be a mentor who's positioned out there and we go to work for them or what have you. But then what happens when you're down here? Mayhem and distractions and, and you know, accidents and you know, the interlopers working to corrupt things. And so there is a way to focus back in on that specifically. So why not? Why not do that? Give that a leg up and deal with healing for the obstacles that have come along. Because again, it's our responsibility to take care of or ask for help. And most of the time we have no idea. You know, this is part of, you know, the dice are loaded against us in this way. It's our own ignorance. But that's also part of the test of us. Can we learn enough in time to hold our own under the most difficult of circumstances? So welcome to the earth. All right. The LHP works to provide healing of genetic distortion from all causes. And there's a lot of these. We can do it with... Um, Negative thought to some extent. There's ancestral problems, which we know about, you know, the family genes and so forth from your ancestors. And, but there are environmental things always ongoing to alter things. And our level of stress causes genetic changes and alterations. And also the uh, manipulation directly by other beings. This is a big part of what the extraterrestrials are doing here. So this comes from all directions. And so the DNA we get from our parents is corrupted DNA. Inevitably, 
it doesn't start out pristine. It's the sum total of all the corruption that's been done throughout human history by all of these outside forces. We're not the pristine beings that we were when first created. And so we're making up for lost time, but let's, let's, let's make it up. Okay. The LHP provides direct healing for the personal thought plane to remove negative thought forms. This is a very destructive influence. Thoughts are things. We give birth to them. They hang around us. And they darken our world if they're dark thoughts. And we kind of know this intuitively. You know, this is the temperament, the kind of mood state, and so forth. But that has a big part in it, why time just doesn't heal things. Sometimes time makes things worse. All right. We can also use the LHP to heal the Akashic records of animals, humans, and extraterrestrials to change the energetic signature of traumatic events. That is what is needed to truly fix things once and for all. It's the Akashic record where this is stored along with the pain in the form of an energetic signature that comes around and bites you in the future. If you can go in and heal that energetic signature, it becomes just information. It's a neutral event. There's no energy there for karma to bash you over the head because you were mean to your sister in three lives in a row and it destroyed her confidence and you know she wasn't wasn't a good mom and the damage widened. You know, this is karma, you know, and it just you know, off the cuff example, but changing the energetic signature of those events, those scenes of trauma is true healing, deep healing. And the LHP heals also the collective unconscious of humans and extraterrestrials to recall and cancel sources of negativity. And that's another influence on us. We're always going out. It's like seeing what the weather is. You know, we send our consciousness out What's in the collective? What's the mood? You know, what are people saying? And, and if we are worrying about something, we'll find all the thoughts of others who are worrying about that. <laughs> and it'll pile on to us. And so there's a way to take back what you're adding and help clean up the thoughts of others and shift things. That's part of the shift in consciousness. This much heralded shift in consciousness by the light workers is all about doing some of these things. It's dealing with the intrusion by interlopers in our world and cleaning up the planet and everything on it, and which, us especially. Which needs to be done first before anybody starts talking seriously about ascension. Yes, absolutely. All right. The LHP coordinates the client's spirit team, including their higher self, to be proactive in giving guidance, support, healing, and protection on an ongoing basis. So your spirit team does some of this as a routine, but mostly about the things you've already asked for, like up in the light. You know, help me become a doctor. Help me become, a, you know, a healer type person or a, a, a teacher be a good parent this time around and have lots of kids and do it really, really well and help heal the ones I neglected in other lives. These are, we all have a plan. All right. So that's already asked for, but beyond that, they won't do anything unless we perceive a new issue of some kind and ask for help with it. So that's, that was the purpose of prayer all along, to use our own smarts, our own awareness and wisdom and intuition to know when something hurts, when something's wrong, and ask for divine support. So this is the gamut, you know, the guidance, support to keep you going, make things break your way, bring some good things to you, as well as healing, big, big need, and protection. So you don't get slammed by something that's kind of a wild card in life, which is what the interlopers are doing, because we never know what they're going to do next and where, where they'll direct their attention. So it's unpredictable. One of the things that I do want to say to provide balance here is that 
a successful outcome, even with this powerful comprehensive protocol, is not a given. And there are many reasons for this. And we talked about some of the reasons last week. And it's a complicated matter. Our needs go deep. The roots of the problems are deep. They involve many, many, many other people, all of whom have free will, as do you and your clients. And that is a slow incremental process of peeling back the layers. It takes time. And sometimes there's roadblocks in the way that the divine has to leave in place because it's your doing or the client's doing. And then they're out of luck for this go round. You know, they're just stuck. And that may well stand. And so this will not cure everything and it will not cure things immediately in most cases. It may start helping the person in various ways. They may feel a difference. They might feel lighter, just a little calmer. Some things that were hard might be perceived as being easier now. Better sleep. That's a common Better one. Better sleep. Yes. And particularly for those things done by the spirits and so on that are hammering on them. So they will feel some relief from having that removed. But the longer term issues like chronic illness and so on, you know, that can be a long term healing uh, journey, even with the protocol to, to work on it. But the thing I would stress is there's nothing better out there to turn to. And once you get this launched, it will keep going and add benefits all along the way. So it is a blessing, no matter what the outcome might be seen by a person and the people around them. It may take more than one life to dial things back, but a lot of things are being repaired. And it may mean the person will come back in a new life and not have to go through a struggle in the same way again because it's already been precluded from happening. So it, it's easier to start over, especially when you've done some healing in between, than it is to recover from all the things that have been piled onto you uh, in, in one lifetime. So, so I wanted to be sure that this is clear for folks, that you're not guaranteed a whole series of miracles to just happen overnight. Okay. All right, so that's it. Okay. All right. So that, uh, I, I really think this is going to be helpful. Uh, we're going to continue uh, in the next section. Uh, we're going to pick up on some more issues around uh, men mental illness. And the one thing I wanted, I wanted you to just uh, make a brief comment about before we close is the feedback and non-feedback um, aspect of the Lightworker Healing Protocol. And then I, before you do that, I just wanted to point out, too, that this has been an iterative process. Um, for you know this 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 idea of of seeing things in your clients uh, experiences that helping you to develop new questions for the channeling to see what you can do for refinements with the LHP and these refinements have been ongoing so this isn't something that just came that just you know showed up in your office in a box one day this is something that's been un undergoing uh, extensive development over many months many years in fact. And for instance, I'll just give an example. When when I first learned the Lightworker Healing Protocol, there was actually four different, actually eight different ways you could do the Lightworker Healing Protocol. You could do it for personal clearing. You could do uh, spirit rescues for people who had passed. You could do locations, and you could do companion animals. And in, for each one of those different sessions, you could do a feedback version and a non-feedback version. And now the Lightworker Healing Protocol is, is basically comes in two forms, a feedback form and a non-feedback form that takes care of all of those things in one session. Yes. So you get lots of mileage. <laughs> you set a lot of things in motion. Yeah. And it's made possible through this compounding and some workarounds that we had to think through and come up with ourselves. Right. So, that, so And it's because... So this uh, this point that I wanted to make is that you know you you may already be a healer and you may want to uh, you know graduate to a better healing mo modality which you know we would say that this is probably what it what it is you know it's a step up and and you're psychic and you get feedback well this is a modality where you can you can do a version of the protocol where you can get feedback and you could find out things about the healing process that someone who's not psychic 
um, wouldn't get. But the good news is that you don't need to be psychic to do this. And you don't need to um, uh, relay psychic information back to the client in order for your work to be effective. And there's and, and we explain, you know, what are the dynamics around that? When you learn the course, what are the dynamics around this? The whole idea of feedback and non-feedback. Like I, for one, when I first started the Lightwork Leading Protocol, not being one who gets feedback, I felt that that was an impediment to the work. Well, I found out as I progressed that it wasn't an impediment. In fact, in some cases, and I think it might, I might be uh, an example, it was kind of an asset for me because it was an aspect of the of the healing that I didn't need to concern myself with, and it didn't really have that much to do with the efficacy. So these are these are all things that we can learn as we grow with the LHP, and it kind of uh, uh, um, it's a very freeing aspect of the LHP because anyone can do this. Literally, anyone can do this. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's a real magnificent attribute because there are relatively few people with significant or profound psychic ability to look into things and be able to discern them. And so it's a talent and a skill also that takes a lot of work, a lot yeah. of practice, yeah. because you have to learn how to see all the different things. You know, sort of like having a TV set and you get it and you've got, you know, three stations because you're not hooked up to cable or Wi-Fi right. or something. Right. And so that's all you can do. You know, you don't know even there's other channels, you know, no one tells you, you know. So a lot of psychics are still in that mode. Yeah. You know, I, I know people right now who are psychics and teach people how to be psychic mediums. They don't believe in darkness. They've been subjugated and 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 manipulated to think there is no such thing. It's just human negativity. I don't want to even deal with that. Yeah. I want to help people, you know, rise up with the light and be happy. And, you yeah. know, well, you're not going to do much. Yeah. For and one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up is that, you know, the, in, in the realm of healing, this type of healing, you know, the people who might be intrigued by, you know, the light work of the healing protocol, there's, I think there is kind of a disinformation campaign that you have to have some, special innate abilities along psychic lines like you're getting some kind of feedback every time you go and do something like that and this this really um i think dispels those those that those notions and really informs people of what they're what they can be capable of in terms of helping their fellow man in a partnership with the divine realm you know this is the tool for doing that you know yes. and you don't have to be a specially talented or gifted person or someone who would even who already calls themselves a healer you know you can be uh you know from a very you know you know from pedestrian pedestrian background so to speak and you could learn this and you can do it and you could become quite effective with it the the information in this protocol describes things and addresses things we should be learning all the way along in life, yeah. starting as children. Yeah. And, you know, they're esoteric, they're strange sounding, they're exotic, they're strange and, and you know, so, sort of incomprehensible to people at first blush, at first hearing. Right. But it's like anything else. You, you've got to live with it a while and you've got to think about it and, and maybe get the backstory a bit so you understand a little bit better what the words are trying to convey. Right. And the, the key to the whole thing is it's not something that you are making happen. Yeah. So you're not the neurosurgeon that goes in and tinkers with the brain. You're just requesting the divine team to go in yeah. and address the sources of problems that might have shown up. Yeah. You're making the appointment. Head. You're the energetic conduit. You're the, you're the coordinator. Right. You're the inter you're making the introduction, and you're setting your intention into motion for the right. for the benefit of not only your client but yourself. Yep you you're the advocate, the connection, the requester for the assistance. Right, and it's sort of like you're you're arranging it, scheduling it, and paying the bill. Right, you know, which is your own spiritual capital that you care. Right. 
and that your love is is really the fuel and it's going to connect you to the divine and create a healing circuit for that person. You will not be doing healing with your own energy. And that's a whole other discussion. And, yeah. and a lot of healers uh, who've been doing healing have a little trouble with the protocol because they can't resist going in and healing themselves when they're there doing something or other. Yeah. And they, they need to be you know brought along and, and realize that they're going to be the choke point always. And so it's best to do this protocol on its own. And then if you want to do additional things, you can do that. You don't yeah. have to stop anything that you're doing. Yeah, you just that's a separate it's a separate event. Yeah. yeah. Just add this on. Yeah. Add this on. And and you can't go wrong there. So, you know, if you know, one of the short, concise and accurate things that we can say about the LHP, you know, for starting which kind of sets the stage for everything that would be explained beyond that is it's a high level prayer request. Yes. It really is in the category of prayer, which kind of sets the scene for what's happening, you know? So mm-hmm. with that, uh, we, we are, this, this is going to be part of a, uh, a longer webinar. You're going to, and we're going to, we're going to set way into part two, which is going to follow this video. And this video that we just gave to you here is going to be, uh, presented as a separate, introductory um, video for the Lightworker Leading Protocol, you know, what is the Lightworker Leading Protocol? And we're, we're hoping that this serves to give a good foundation for someone understanding what they would be learning if they were to take the course. So thanks, Carl, and uh, stay tuned or head, over, head on over to uh, Get Wisdom to find, to find out more, sign up, become a Lightworker Leading Protocol. Get a session. There's a lot of different ways that you can uh, get a, a really interesting and uh, economical introduction into this powerful modality. So thank Absolutely. you, Carl. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you. Bye-bye.